With that match beginning, our robots are starting to move. Two robots, one per side of the field, going underneath that shield generator to collect power cells. An additional robot sweeping up the initiation line. And now in our infinite recharge sim, there is not a cap on the number of power cells that our robots can contain. So as many as they can fit into their manipulator will be eligible for scoring, unlike in a realistic match of infinite recharge where robots are capped at five. We do see two hoppers full for the Red Alliance. That's Archer and Pollux in red, their alliance partner he and Tony doing a little bit of sweeping around that Blue Alliance loading station. That's going to help out Red, getting them plenty of power cells that did not have to come from their own loading station. The Blue Alliance, though, does have a lead, and Shaq and Nick working together, but some defense from Archer might slow down that Blue Alliance. Regardless, they put up at least 10 more power cells for the Blue Alliance. Their score now 159 to 142, a minute and a half remaining in the match. T and Tony empties their hopper out, cycles back, joining Pollux near the Red Alliance loading station while Archer puts up another hopper for the Red Alliance. That's going to give them a four point lead, but Donut Jonah and Shaq for blue now making their way back to the initiation line. Donut Jonah completely empties their hopper before Shaq gets into position. Nick, their alliance partner now next to them, waits for Shaq to finish launching. And now Nick fine tunes in their position, trying to hang on to that blue alliance lead, but a major collision between Pollux and Shaq, red and blue respectively. That's going to throw both of those robots on their sides and slow down the scoring for both red and blue for at least a few seconds. Red now has established a bit of a lead, but we are still neck and neck 15 seconds until the end game begins. Archer under the trench for the Red Alliance. Pollock's taking the long way around through the rendezvous point for Red. Both of those robots lining up a few more points eligible for the Red Alliance. Red is trying to hang on to this lead. Their score breaks 300 points and both alliances have scored at least 90 power cells. So no one will walk away empty handed. Just 20 seconds remaining. But in our simulated matches, it does not take long for these robots to race back to the rendezvous point, extend their manipulator and get hung on the shield generator switch. We see Pollux and Archer in red. They both extend their manipulators outside of the rendezvous point, which is absolutely allowed in our simulated matches of infinite recharge. Might make it a little bit easier for these robots to get positioned on the switch at the end of our match. Final score in that match is a Blue Alliance victory, 391 to 382. In that match, both alliances did earn a score with at least 90 power cells, so they will both earn an additional ranking point. The Blue Alliance also broke 65 points in their end game, so they will walk home with four total ranking points, the Red Alliance with one. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.